what are the salaries that we get here and so there are two terms that i would like to say uh, when you, you know if you're going to speak to some other german doctor uh, to find about so there's something called as brutto and netto so what you see here on the right hand side this is the like salary in the municipal or community hospitals like the salary for the it's like the same for almost all the hospitals here in germany unlike india where we say yeah this hospital pays me more that hospital pays me less yeah pgs it's almost the same yeah but some hospitals pay a lot more better compared to other uh, like central government hospitals what I've seen PGs are paid better, I think, in India uh, compared to other private hospitals or government hospitals. Yeah, uh, but here in Germany, if you are part of any community or municipal hospital, which are like the 80 percent or 90 percent of the hospitals in Germany are community or municipal hospitals. Yeah, so uh, it is going to be this is going to be the salary. Yeah, so you can see that here, uh, this is the salary till 31st of March, and this is going to be the salary which they are increasing because of inflation. Yeah, so every country is going to recession, and there is an inflation rate. So yeah. we got to know 6 to 7 percent is inflation in in india so germany also has a inflation percent and they want to also like the doctors have uh, they have made a strike and they said we need uh, uh, the salary to be increased so this is the salary that uh, they have been promised from 1st of april which is going to be increased and so on yeah so this is the table for the residence doctors which i have highlighted here so this is called facharts facharts are like after residency you become sr in india but in germany it's called facharts yeah so we are called facharts here and oberarzt is like associate professors and ca is at least chefarts which are they are the hod yeah so this is what the table shows the brutto that is the ta- the salary before taxes so and after taxes with insurance deduction pension insurance nursing insurance and so on which will be somewhere around 35 to 42% of uh, the salary will be deducted before we get it into the in our account and so at the end we'll be getting somewhere between 3000 to 3400 euros per month in the account yeah and um, this is only the base salary when we do night duties we are paid extra at around 40 euros per hour so there are some hospitals who consider night duties as 24 hour duties and there are some hospitals uh, 24 hour duties meaning from 8 o'clock in the today to next day morning 8 o'clock and the next day will be off yeah it's not like how in india where we work 36 hours here it's going to be like from 24 hours yeah so 24 hours maximum they have very strict uh, labor uh, laws here in germany irrespective of whichever department or wherever we work they have very strict labor laws where they say that this is the number of hours that they have to work and when we cross that uh, the hr will call us telling that you have worked for so many hours either you have to take an off and or we have to do a compensation mostly they'll ask, uh, ask us to take an off they'll say so you have uh, they'll calculate that every 4 to 6 months i think Uh, by the end of six months, and if they find that the number of hours that we have worked uh, is actually, uh, you know, exceeding, they will tell us to take an off for residency for a PG uh, for resident. I mean, so night duty will be paid at 40 euros for extra per hour plus night duty allowance also. So this is not the actual salary. So we'll be getting somewhere around 4,000 or 4,000 more than 4,000 also. Sometimes it depends upon when you do duties. So you're doing doing a duty on Saturday. That means you're working on a Saturday on a holiday also. That means you get extra uh, like that. If you're doing a night duty on Monday to Tuesday, it's going to be something different. Uh, if you're doing a duty on Sunday, it's going to be different. If you're going to do a duty on uh, on national holidays, then you're going to be paid a little more extra, something like that. That is about the salary aspect of here. That is for the uni clinics, like the university hospitals. Yeah, every hospital you see, they will have almost the same salary with a plus or minus of 100 to 200. Yeah, so it's like 5,288 which is close to, oh, and here you see it's 5,100 and so on. And next thing is that, uh, say for example, you're already a PG in India. and you're coming to germany again and you want to do a pg or you want to do your further medical uh, uh, career here Uh, then when you have already done three years, so when you come to Germany, you will start earning from the fourth year. That means your base salary salary will start from five thousand nine hundred. That is after when you have uh, shown your log books from India and all the post graduation everything that has to be submitted in here. When all this application process is done and all verified, and when the state medical council tells that yeah, so you are uh, you get into the fourth year, you get the fourth year of salary. So this will this is what you this is where you start. So this is where you. So if you are not a PG, you have worked. a medical officer for one year or two years that means so if uh, you have worked for two years in india you will get into the salary bracket here provided your medical officer your, your work experience certificate is recognized here by the state medical council and they have agreed to you know uh, put you as a third year but for the people who have not uh, done pg in india when you are coming to germany and you want to start work, uh, just want to start a pg here you may start earning from the third year but your pg will start uh, counted as first year yeah for whereas the pe- people of done pg and are coming here so you've already done 3 years uh, of pg in india compared to the 5 years needed or 5 or 
six years needed they will see what are the uh, deficiencies how many more years you have to do and what are the procedures that you need to do and they'll calculate and tell yeah so you will need um, another one year to do and so on so that is for the people who are who have done come who have done pg or are senior residents in india or doing pg right for all the people who have just completed mbbs and working as medical officers when you come to germany you will be starting as a uh, pg y1 that is uh, your post graduate uh, residency year 1 but your experience from india will be taken and if it's recognized then you'll start earning from here from the third year and but your pg will be from first year so i hope you understand and that is uh, for the uni clinics or university hospitals um, i would definitely i also wanted to get into a university hospital directly when i came to germany and some of the seniors who were here whom, with whom i spoke to when i when i was coming to germany they told it's difficult to get into a university hospital and it's not advisable to get directly into a, a university hospital because it's going to be difficult i actually never took their advice but i tried and then i found out that it's really difficult uh, to start working directly in a university hospital because everything is going to be in german and the system here is going to be slightly slightly different medicine things are going to be the same whatever we give and everything although they have few different medicines here uh, the choice the drug of choice is slightly different here uh, but otherwise uh, yeah because it's a developed country and they have a different type of dif- disease here so their drug of choices are different from what we have learned in india uh, that's that we'll get used to it in some amount of time it's not going to be that difficult so uh, i would always suggest either start working in a municipality hospital or a community hospital or in a private hospital uh, rather than start directly going to university hospital it's better to go to university hospitals once you have got a sound grip of the german healthcare system and how to work in germany and then later you can go into university hospital so i fo- have also forgotten to tell about so the university hospitals what are they so they are like charite which most of them would have heard it's also a university hospital aachen or heidelberg a university hospital they are all of the university hospital so they don't have any particular name they have the name attached to the city wherever they are roadmap um, what are the requirements that we do and need? need and everything so first thing to all the people who are still doing mbbs doing crr and everything um for all the people doing mbbs i would say complete your final year and then start working towards your uh, german language and so on don't start learning there are a lot of people who spoke to me and they are doing final year or third year and they said uh, i want to learn german language now i would say go ahead learn but once you complete everything and then you don't have much time to do in mbbs it's uh, like you have a lot to learn and everything when you have to lot to do out uh, once you even complete learning the language in by your third year or fourth year by the time you complete crri and your proper documents are processed and then you when you come to uh, germany you forget the language when you forget the language is not going to be you you can't think it's it's okay i'll just take the books i'll revise and i know it's that's not how it's not going to it's not going to work like that because it's completely different the language is completely different the verb positions and the things which we use in english is completely different in german so the verbs come at the end they don't come in between it's a different language when you once you start learning so i would say plan yourself from CRRI that's when I even I I actually started and because of covid everything got messed up but so I would say you can start from CRRI and make sure that uh, your degree which you get from your medical college or whichever uh, university it's affiliated to uh, you can check in this Anabin website yeah so this is this Anabin website uh, you can type it in google you can just type Anabin and there will be a website you can take a screenshot of this PPT also and I think it will be also be posted on IMA JD and YouTube channel also you can check this later also again but you can just check with your college or your university is recognized by the german college most of the indian uh, most of the nmc uh, recognized college in india are recognized by german medical council also but although you can check once again some of them very very few exceptionally very few are not recognized you can just check your colleges but most of the colleges are recognized you don't have to worry about it and when they are recognized i'm sorry i have no idea about it you can just i'll tell you about uh, whom to ask and all this so whether you need a good cv um, i would say your work experience matters a lot when you want to plan immediately so we indians always have a plan of doing everything fast so we want to complete a crri and immediately after crri you want to jump to pg but in india it's okay but when you come to germany they'll th- they'll see that you don't have work experience internship is not considered work experience and when you complete only internship when you don't have much of a clinical experience from india and you want to come into a foreign country with a foreign language and you want to work in a foreign healthcare system it's going to be too much it's going to be too much you have to speak in german you have to think so much when you're going to talk in german 
uh, because your mind will be very busy with uh, thinking about how to bring the language out from your mouth and also you have to think about what uh, you have to treat to the patient and everything so i would say please work for a minimum of 1 to 2 years in india and then come to germany so that you have some amount of clinical experience at least some amount of clinical experience and then when you come to germany you will know and i would say work in a hospital where you are able to do something clinically most of them when they you know when they apply for usmd or plab they want to go to a hospital we know that there are many hospitals that are not much of patient load we just want to sit and study and have a some amount of income i would say try to go to a hospital where you are able to see patients treat patients or be a part of the team to see what's happening and how the tra- patients are being treated so that you know what's happening uh, and when you come to germany it's going to be a little easier uh, because we are expected directly to start with iv uh, venflon with reanimation uh, reanimation cpr and so on yeah so um, it's better to have some amount of work experience minimum of 1 to 2 years uh, when you are in india please don't jump directly from cri to germany it's not going to be easy it's going to be a tough road even to get uh, pg positions or jobs also yeah um, research and volunteering they are all extra so they are all extra when you do research and volunteering it's all only extra main thing is the language and the work experience when you don't have when you have zero research papers zero volunteering experience it's okay it's completely okay uh, it's not like going to be like usmd where even usmd they only have one or two points not much but the language and the work experience is very important so next coming to finance when you are applying for the visa here in uh, india for the german visa you will be applying uh, for uh, firstly for the employment visa for the recognition of foreign professional qualifications this is a particular visa which is called 16b d for delhi 1616d d for delhi 16d visa you can google up later also you can just write 16d germany and then you will see there is a visa called employment visa recognition of foreign professional qualifi so that is the visa you will be applying for where you will require blocked account which is uh, 1033 euros currently which is uh, so you need to uh, have th- 1033 euros which is close to 10 lakh rupees so you need to transfer 10 lakh rupees to one of the block account issuing companies or uh, service providers you will have to transfer to them and then when you come to germany and open a bank account here they will start putting 1033 euros per month in your german bank account so that is for the initial expenses um, until you clear your uh, licensing exam and so on okay and then next is the language um, so there are total of six levels of language in germany starting from a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 a minimum of b1 or b2 language certificate is needed when you are applying for the visa and a minimum of b2 level of certificate is net- required for the medical license exam here in germany yeah. so, so you can take a, a quick screenshot of the documents which are going to be needed later the way you apply here for germany it's going to be like you know for your you have to apply to particular state you have to decide which state you're going to almost all state medical councils will require these certificates yeah uh, there will be less or minus for each state medical council in germany when you're applying to the residency or even for anything you have to apply to state medical council there is no particular uh, like you know for uk you have general medical council no there's nothing like that for germany you have to apply to the particular state medical council whichever state you wish to go and they will ask for these documents so these documents you have to get it so you see that there is going to be mbbs degree certificate you need your internship completion certificate and so on so all the mbbs students who are here thinking that you can start it right away no you don't please wait for germany we need a lot of patients it's not that easy please don't uh, jump into and think that yeah i'll start it right away and uh, please have hold your horses down and uh, complete your internship properly and then start your work uh, but you can start learning the language from internship yeah so you need an internship completion certificate state medical council registration certificate there is a license certificate yeah from india and good standing certificate from the state medical council whichever state medical council you are registered at and these two certificates the passport cl- uh, police clearance cl- certificate and the uh, good standing certificate are valid only for 3 months so you need to time it properly so that it reaches uh, a german state medical council on time and not later than 3 months those all will be decided on a later date will be explained on a later date if at all you all have doubts you can approach your uh, ima jd and representatives and probably if needed we will they can ar- uh, organize another session for particular doubts on how to apply and everything because application to germany residence program is not popular like usml and uh, plab but there are so many youtube channels or so many uh, people to guide through for germany there are not much and uh, it's uh, it's not uh, particularly told also 